I just installed the latest ZYG5, I do believe, and people say that this is the better for. I still have to confirm this, but what is even more important is that this thing is certified, which means they're not only Google Play certified, but also Google Wallet. And finally, I'm gonna be able to use my S25 Ultra to pay. Yeah, because we need apparently to pay some things in life. All right, guys, let's buckle up and let's review this new build. We are very, very close to one year eight stable all right unlocking the phone for the first time if everything is correct i should see here the software being updated all right guys and um, yes that's still android 16 one year eight apparently the latest internal beta people are saying that this is going to be the beta 4 i cannot confirm this at this point have in mind zyg5 i do believe this is the build funny enough guys when i do use check firm to check i'm not able to see this build there it still says the latest test firmware the byg3 and then the list of shoe a1 f4 but believe it or not this is a newer build i'm going to show you now my software information it's still one year eight. The Android version is 16. The Google Play system update from the 1st of May. But the version here is indeed uh, ZYG5. And you can see now my phone has been updated. Now let's check some other things. Android security patch level from the 1st of July. And now the biggest question, guys, what is going to happen when I want to check, you know, if my build or my phone is certified? Device is still not certified. All right. Some people said that it is. Apparently mine is not. I'm gonna try to use this hack now. Yeah, device checks complete. So finally, this device is Play Protect certified. And guys, the only way this works is if Samsung themselves certify this bill on the server with Google. And why I'm happy, because right now it seems that I can, or I'm gonna be able to run Google Wallet. And yes, this device doesn't meet security requirements, but I'm just thinking what I'm gonna do right now here is I'm gonna go and sign here and I'm gonna try to close or force stop the Google Wallet. I'm gonna try to reopen it again because apparently this should fix, yes! All right, now my cards are active and I should be finally able to use my phone to pay. And why I'm happy, guys, because this thing not working means that also my Watch Ultra that is charging right now is not working. What about the animations? All right, guys, it's getting smoother. And I hope that this ain't placebo. What about this animation here, guys? Let's check what is gonna happen here. Okay, yeah, not that bad. By the way, one of you suggested there is, by the way, a, a hack on how you can get this animation smooth, but I, I forgot about this. Somebody in, under the comments was saying something, and indeed there was a way for this animation to be better. Honestly, guys, it's still good enough. We do still have the same functionality. I'm even not yet sure what they changed besides the fact that they have certified this version. But what this only means is that we are very, very close to get the One UI 8 stable. Something else that I would like to check is, I'm gonna go inside the security and privacy, and then guys, I wanna hit the updates. All right, security update, it's good. It's the 1st of July. It's already today the 17, but okay, it's still from this month. But the Google Play system update is from May, and I wanna check if there are any newer updates. This thing doesn't really work automatically. You see here, yes, there is apparently an update, so you need to go and manually do this. Now I'm gonna restart my phone and see the new updates. I managed to restart my phone. Now guys, if you have been following my channel or you've been checking the famous thread like on XDA, you would have known that the previous version ZYG3 had a very annoying bug. And we're not sure if this, when the phone goes from the mobile network to the Wi-Fi, but the phone will force cycle and restart sometimes, even like 20 times in 10 minutes. Crazy, really crazy. I was absolutely, oh my God, I cannot even tell it. I'm just having some calls and boom, my phone will restart. Now, something that I was able to check online, people are saying that in this new version, the ZYG5, apparently Samsung removed some things. They removed the adaptive clock on the lock screen. But what does this mean? Let me show you. I'm going to go now inside the suggested images. Let's go and try to use a suggested wallpaper. All right, so, all right, let's just go and use an image that is okay. Okay, I'm gonna use my cat. So, in the previous version, in the ZYG3, oh, uh, what the heck? Is this not the adaptive clock? I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty adaptive to me, but what happens if we wanna try to change the colors? Still works? 
So, interesting. It seems that I'm able to restart it, but now the thing is, is this going to be the so-called new adaptive lock screen clock feature, all right? How do we know? Oh, my God! I mean, that's that's it, guys. I mean, I think I have it. I'm not sure. Let me know what's in down below, right? Right now, let's see the always-on display. Boom. Yep. It's still... It, uh, I'm not sure, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But it seems that, yep, yeah, the adaptive lock screen clock feature still works for me. Let me know what your experience is with this build. And now I'm going to be testing some of the animations. Yeah, you know, battery smooth, guys. Samsung is gearing for a good, really, I hope, a good One UI 8 release. One thing, guys, still missing, all right, follow my mind, when I do open my Samsung Good Lock, I still don't have the home app, because the home app is still not supporting Android 16, so apparently it only runs on Android 15, and that'd be One UI 7. But with One UI 8, yeah, we still have, do we have like the lock video on phone? We have. With One UI 8, guys, we really hope to finally get also home app and everything else. I'm not sure if the home app is gonna be ready for the first stable build. My expectation is, and I'm speculating, probably not, probably Samsung, I'm gonna need a bit more time in order to make this fly, but oh boy, you can see, oh, did I see something else? If I try to move the icon, yeah, I have these points here, like exactly in the new Samsung DeX, and you can, by the way, check my new One Year 8 Samsung DeX. Everything, guys, it's absolutely smooth. Right, Samsung are finally gearing up to deliver something that we wanted from One UI 7, but we didn't get it. And right now, hopefully, we're gonna get a very good One UI 8 build. Oh, another feature, guys, that I can now confirm. All right, I can now confirm that the new, you know, now brief like speaking aloud speech function isn't there, which which existed before in the ZY G3. So, all right, the adaptive clock on the lock screen is here for me, all right, but I can see changes also the colors, but it seems that they have removed the now brief talking feature. So is this like one step ahead and two steps back? I don't know, but for me, this thing really is very, very smooth and I kind of like it. So guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments, the best thing about this is that the beta is finally certified so is the zyg5 the better for i cannot confirm people say it is but i cannot confirm this it might be as well another like test build nevertheless guys it's a new test build it could be internal could be not i'm not sure and for now it's certified let me know what you think down below in the comments and stay safe